Hi there guys, what I'm going to do is just take you through how to register your ESVS or online SDS. So you should have the registration details and you have uh, logged in and you'll see something like this. This is the King's Lodge app and uh, what you need to do is click on the registration link and uh, hopefully something will happen soon. Here we are. Uh, and then you click on new registration. <clears throat> so what you're doing is you're actually registering a brand new course. Unfortunately, you can't re-register ones that we've already registered because with online extension studies, which is different to regular extension studies, with online extension studies, what you do is you register your course once and then you use that course as many times as you need to to keep registering more students. So although it's more work up front, it's uh, better in the long term. <clears throat> With extension studies, you have to keep on registering the course over and over again. And so you register, you click register a brand new course and then you uh, click on uh, an online extension studies and the name of the course. And so there you would put in the name of your course. Uh, it can be Spanish uh, or French, but sadly we can't print the certificates in Arabic so uh, or Russian, so it would need to be English. So as I said in the email, you put in the language uh, or you put in your course in French, uh, Spanish, Portuguese, but you do need to do everything else in English because at the moment, this has to be checked through the English-speaking world. The dream is that that won't be the case. In time, everything will be completely in the language of the people involved. And so, we uh, click the update, and then you come to the place where you can register your course. Now, each of these areas you see here, general information lecture phase, all of these have red dots and when you've completely uh, uh, put in all the fields they will turn to green. If they're orange then those little dots here mean you still haven't quite finished. So this is where your work already on the translation has come into play because you then choose the, the course language and uh, there we are, we have Arabic and cost per student that is an average of the three prices we have uh, I can't remember what it is so let's just say it's three hundred dollars and module one is a level one course, module two is a level two course, and then after that they're all level 300 courses. Now the course description uh, we sent to you in the attachment so uh, what I'm going to do is just fill in this something so that we can move forward but you would copy and paste the course description, uh, you would choose the different tags uh, that you have uh, instructed and then the course leader. Now, if uh, your name isn't here, we add a user and you would add your details. Now, for base leader, put Phil Leach, okay? And the reason for that is if you put Maged, who's the actual base leader of the King's Lodge, then it will take a long time to work through because he, he doesn't do this so well. Um, uh, you would put my name and then my email address phil.leage at online sbs.org online sbs.org and you add that 
and then you would uh, put in your YRAM experience that's prepared you to lead this course and so we put a few cues there just to fill this out um, and then you save and when you've saved and you've filled in all those fields you can then go uh, back to overview and you'll notice it's now green so that's filled you then uh, fill in the uh, various fields here and again you should have translated what I sent you or adjusted it now this is actually so that I, as the leader of extension studies, could have a look at people's online courses and see if they're good. But um, I've given you the answers to these. Please adjust them, adjust them so that they fit you. Uh, this is saved. And you'll notice it's green. Then we come to course objectives. A lot of this is straightforward. It's stuff that I've uh, sent you. You can translate it, copy and paste it, uh, adjust it if you feel that your course is anything different than this. But then you save it. And uh, we can carry on. Uh, and you'll see it's green so that's complete the outcomes and again I've sent these to you you click on these you add the the name of the outcome uh, the course description and you can save that that becomes a knowledge outcome we want a skill outcome and again you would uh, copy and paste your translation in here And likewise, the attitude outcome. Uh, and so that should be straightforward for you. We can now go back to the overview. Uh, and if you fill that in completely, that will be green. Now, this is the really important one. Mm -hmm. And you need to be adding the learning activities and um, Charlotte's done a lot of work in going through every course and outlining the activity outcomes and the content outcomes. So you, if you have this translated, you can um, actually, I'm just thinking to myself, you don't need these translated. It has to be in English, doesn't it? So that's a con that, that was wrong. Uh, what you do is you basically adjust them and copy and paste them into here the activity name, uh, the type of activity, and that should be in what we sent you, the format of the course. Uh, let me just put something in these fields so I can move forward. There we are. Activity outcome, activity content, you put that in. And then the teachers of your particular course and if they're not listed here, you can add them. Let's have Andy in this one, shall we? But you can add the teachers, fill out their details, the resource materials that you have, and then, now, the important thing about hours is that the hours need to add up to whatever the credits are for that course. And I've sent that to you, the details of that. So zero to, um, uh, one credit has to be at least 25 hours uh, most of their courses are either two credit or three credit so that will be um, that will be uh, 50 credits for two uh, and then actually for a two credit course it's 50 credits to uh, 74 credits and the three credit course is uh, 75 credits so let's say this is 50 hours so that's a 
uh, that will be a two credit course and then this is saved um, let's see if I've done a good job with this I may not have done a good job with this let me see no I've not completed this one so let's just go back and fill in these fields just so we can move forward Uh, just say Bible study there. The format is individual. And the content, you could copy and paste that. Again, we'll have Andy Thomas, resource materials, all that is there. And then 50 hours, then we can save it. And that saved successfully. We go back to overview. And when you filled all this in now can I just go back to this again and say uh, for our course you would add one activity which may be a module one unit one and then you would add another activity which is module one unit two and then module one unit three uh, module one unit four so you would uh, for the first module you would have uh, four activities here because each activity would have uh, its own uh, field there. And you'll notice it's green. And then the evaluation, that's straightforward, I've sent that to you. Uh, and that will be saved. And so we go back to the overview. And that's it. So now, waiting for the course to be submitted, uh, choose a person from your leadership team to approve the course at your location. And that's me. Uh, and then you click yes. And then please write your name. Please write your name to confirm. So you type your name in there and then you submit the course. And then what happens, it comes to me. Um, and if you, if I go to my right email account, uh, my UN account, here we are. It will come. Hmm. No, that's not going to help. So it, anyway, it comes to me, and I approve it. Let's see if I can do it now. So an email will come to me somehow, somewhere. So I get an email come from you and I have to then review and submit the course and uh, that brings me to the King's Lodge page okay so you see that it comes pending by base leader and so I click on this and I give you my personal recommendation as a leader and then you click these boxes for legal permission I write my name and 
and uh, I submit this. So this is stuff that I do. You don't have to worry about this. And so now we uh, come back to the course and it's now pending by college and registrar staff. I guess that's actually all you need to do. The rest is done by me. So it's reviewed. I review it and then I approve it and then you get an email saying it's been approved and then you can actually use it to register students.